One afternoon, all the engines were just talking at Nafford Station. Meanwhile, while everyone was talking, Edwin was just thinking. Edward, what's on your mind? Yes, Edward, tell us, broke James. Please, Edward, Percy finally said. Okay, I was thinking to tell you guys a ghost story. The only one you'll probably scare is Percy. Well, I got one that can shiver all your buffers, said Edward, and he began his tale. This engine was a tank engine who worked on a railway. So? The line wasn't that too big, so the, so the engine didn't have much to run on, but it was still a big line. The engines went back into his shed, ready to go to sleep, when then the manager came up. I'm sorry, but you need to pick up like you need to pick up a la the last the last coach. It was forgotten at the station. Can you go pick it up? Uh yes sir, said the engine. The engine puffed away upset because he was because they were looking, he was looking forward to taking a nap. The engine went hey, on the turn turntable, and the engine puffed away. The engine puffed through the station. I must get this done. The railway's counting on me. The engine soon found a siding. I'll stop here until I can find the coach. It puffed onto the siding. The engine sat on the siding, too scared to continue on his journey. Then, without realizing, he fell asleep. Then, he woke up. Ugh, ugh, what was that? Then, something came up to the little engine. No! The, en the engine rushed out the siding, rushing as fast as he could. His wheels pounded the wheels, trying to run away from, from the thing. The engine raced backwards in the tunnel. The engine was racing down the line, pounding the rails, and his whistle blew long and loud. The engine was going so fast, racing backwards. The engine couldn't see what it was doing, and he, and he, and he wasn't checking his speed. Then it all happened at once. The engine then derailed, and the engine-eating monster came up to the engine, and that was the last, as everyone, as anyone saw that little engine again.